Hello and welcome back. So in the previous video you saw that we have completed our player UI. We have added the help part over player to our enemies and also we have the UI for showing the ammo and the magazines as you can see. So now our next target will be the menus. So let's go ahead and start creating our menus. The first one will be our pause menu. So if you go inside the UI click on canvas and inside this canvas we will create a UI panel as you can see let's name this panel as pause menu now let me go inside the scene view on the 2D mode let's click on this canvas then on the pause menu let's make the color fully black okay so when we pause the game we want the screen to be a little more, more dark like this after this let's go ahead and create a button let's name this button as resume button let's focus on the resume button right here we want the text to be resume okay let's move this button right over right, right there Okay, let's change the font of this button and also let's make it bold. And the font size will be 25. Let's change its color to white. Okay, and now if we click on this resume button, let's make it color to be black. Now we have this beautiful original button as you see in the game time. Let's play the game. And you can notice we have this resume button, but it is not clickable. Okay, and it doesn't show any visuals. And the reason behind this is that our cursor is locked to the screen. And we will basically solve this once we have a script for our pause menu. But for now, let's uh, design our resume button. So click on this resume and right here, make this normal color black and then completely transparent. Okay, make the alpha value as zero. Now, as you can see, we have a clear or resume text, but when we hover our mouse on this button we want to highlight this button we have it so right here in the highlight color we will make it completely black and let's make this value as 80 or whatever you want okay and then right here when we press it we want it to be black and this time we will make the alpha a little bit more darker okay and also let's add a shadow to our resume button so right here add a shadow component to this text and right here make the effect distance x5 and the y to 5 as well and you can notice it now we have a shadow okay a little bit shadow behind the text you will notice it if you play the game as you can see you will notice the shadow You can actually make it more darker to see it, but for now let's just leave it as it is. And, uh, maybe Y will be one, and you can notice behind the resume text we don't have any shadow. But now, if we make five, notice this area now it has some shadow as you can see. And if we make it ten, you can notice it now more clearly this shadow behind the text. But for now, let's just leave it as now let's create our other button so we can duplicate the resume button and right here we can rename this so let's call this one as menu button and in the scene view let's uh, try and drop this a little bit down below okay let's click on this text make the font size 20 and change the text to menu 
and all of the other things will be seen from this menu after this let's duplicate it again let's change the text to quit button now let's open this change the text to quit and move it a little bit down below Yeah, um, scroll down the quick text to give you on this living object to move down below right there. Okay, now as you can see, if you go inside the game tab, as you can see, we have this beautifully pause menu now. Now let's just deactivate this pause menu and let's just duplicate this change now the name to end game menu let's activate the end game menu right here we will change this to restart button let's change the text to restart okay and the other two buttons will be the same for this end game menu so with this both completed deactivate both of them and in the next video we will type a script for these two menus with this done see you guys in the next video